Sixers, hello, happy Thursday. Welcome to another local food review here on the show. Today, the little meatball in Lincoln Park. Very excited. They open at four o'clock here today, so we waited later in the day to snag the spot. So come along to the little meatball. All right, guys, a couple different things from the little meatball have been acquired. Jump cut. All right, let's check out Corey's. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got. Look at that bad boy. Woo! That's a meatball sub with uh, cheese. And got some herbs on there, the marinara sauce. Looks like they got three big old meatballs. Then I got a Panzerati. This thing actually might be 350 degrees still. Oh, wow. It's basically just a gi gigantic papadilla. I got the baked one with meatballs and goat cheese in it as well, and it's gonna have cheese and sauce. All right, there's mine, cut in half. Just a gigantic calzone folded over pizza thing. All right, I'm 110% certain this will burn my mouth, so I'm gonna have to be extremely careful. Made to order. I'm so sick of Chicago and their goddamn meatball subs. <laughs> it's just such an absolute travesty. Why, Chicago, why? Cheers. 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 Well, this is pointless. <laughs> That's gonna be a fork and knife thing right now, which is not ideal when you order a sandwich. They have meatballs on their menu, like a meat, like not the sandwich. They right. have a meat, but you can just get the meatballs. Right. If I wanna just eat meatballs with a goddamn fork, I'm gonna just get the meatballs. Look at that, like, I can't even hold it to the camera. The bottom's completely busted out. Yeah, it's a, it's a damn travesty. All I wanna do is find a great meatball sub. I mean, Tempesta Market, we found one. I wanna yeah. find multiple great meatball subs in Chicago. I'm hunting them down. Man, I feel so bad because I bet those meatballs are gonna be great though. <laughs> Which is a bummer because it's Yeah, got, but who cares? I know, you gotta be able to eat the sandwich. This is so dumb. A little meatball, look what you did. He's gotta eat his sandwich with a spoon. Look at this. <laughs> is this how you guys wanted it? <laughs> no, no one wanted this. This is ridiculous. This thing is like, very well baked. It's got the nice like crumble, crumbly outside. I want to get to some meatballs though. It's kind of, look at it, it's kind of empty so far. I thought this thing was stuffed. This side's a little bit better. They just did way too much. Yeah. I have to tell as soon as I open it, it's like, you could not have expected someone to eat that as a sandwich. There's no world. I don't understand the concept. The bread has to be toasted. The it's bread is toasted. I mean, toasted enough where it holds everything. It's not possible. It did sucks. you see how much cheese and meat were on here? Yeah, it's true. Bread's not meant to withstand this type of like onslaught of ingredients. This is just too much. I'm just gonna rip off chunks of bread and then have to cut and put my own little meatball in there. I added goat cheese into this, which I love adding goat cheese into like marinara sauce stuff. I think the combination is so good. I'm glad I did that. Little meatball, I got a vendetta against you right now. Who's okay. the other place I did? And we did a meatball sub app. Like Shoppers. I did. Chopper's another trash. It fell apart. It fell apart. Hell are damn fools, Chicago. I hit the reviews when I knew we were doing this place and I looked to see. I didn't know that it was gonna do that, but I saw a lot of people raving about the Panzerati, which I had never had one of those before. Yeah, you have. Have I? Oh. Well, I'm gonna pop a long time. I just don't call it that. Yeah, just because they're different name doesn't mean it's not the same thing. It's a folded pizza. I've had a Papa John's Panzerati. Man, that goat cheese mixing with the marinara is really good. Well, that's good. <laughs> I just can't even believe what that turned into. It's not like you were throwing it all over the place. You literally walked out of the restaurant, took nine and a half steps, and you're at the car. Jeez. It's just like choppers. It's complete trash. And it's not the same experience to just eat meatballs. The bread is part of the experience of the sandwich. Yeah, you want to like a level. Everybody. It levels it out. Uh huh. I'm trying my hardest in this world not to burn my mouth every week, but I keep getting foods that are pocketed. <laughs> it's just squirting out at me. It's the second meatball abortion I've had in like a two or three weeks span. <clears throat> I know. Oh, my favorite meatball sub in the uh, city outside of Tempesta Market. So my second favorite is Nona's oh, is <laughs> in right? the West Loop. I think we both had it. I think we had it years ago. But their bread is very like crispy. It's one of those like there's a lot of bread, but it holds it together. So you're kind of on the opposite side of it where you got to deal with a lot of bread. I know you're focused on the bread portion, but I think it's too much ingredients like last time. Cause I think even if this, so let's say the bread was toasted. Remember right. last time, the meatballs squeeze out. That's a good point. They're round. It was I, overstuffed. It, this is also overstuffed. Like I yeah. understand what you're saying. I get the concept. When you're making a meatball sub, it has to be manageable. Right. You can't put this many, this is back to back, just an overabundance of ingredients on the sub 
it makes it uh, impractical Absolutely. to hold and to eat. Regardless of bread, I really truly believe that. That's a, good, that's a good point. Well, you know, let me know if this would be a good comment then. This is for the real Chicago ones. Where are the meatball sub spots in Chicago where everything stays together and it's delicious? Someone, please. He needs it. Jesse Moss, you out there, you saved the day with the Chinese food. Yeah. I know I can't count you for everything. It's not fair to you. I don't want to put this crucifix on your back, having you carry on the burden of my taste buds, <laughs> but I really need someone to pick the slack up. Yeah, paging Jesse Moss, she really is the savior. She'll have a spot. I just. Absolutely wild to look at. <laughs> it's upsetting, bro. It's really upsetting. It legit looks like an abortion, bro. This old menstruation that I just got on here. Well, continuing the year of just follies and trash for old Corey Wagner. Can't do anything right this year. That's yeah. just the way it goes. If I make it through 2020, what year is this? I think it's 2021. If I make it through 2021 without killing myself, I deserve a medal. I really hope we're still hosting the show together in three months. <laughs> You're gonna have to figure out some sort of weekend at Bernie scenario. <laughs> You know, when we totaled this up, I was a little skeptical about the price of th this thing being $13. 13. But to be honest, it's a, it's like a large pizza folded over. It is. So I it's was kind of the price. <laughs> I was very skeptical too at $13, but I did not expect it to be that big. Like, look how big this is. This is half, so this is $6.50. For a local thing, and that's, I mean, I'm telling you, with that goat cheese and that marinara mix, I know I said it before, it's I'll filling. say it again. It's delicious and it's filling. All right, well, can you like the video? Please like the video, it helps a lot. Hit that little thumbs up button down there. Subscribe to the channel if you can. New videos every single Monday through Friday until Corey is gone. Um, so until then, we're definitely gonna do that. Then I'm gonna have to, like you said, figure out something from Weekend at Bernie's. But um, comment a meatball spot, meatball sub shop in Chicago that holds together and Corey will love, that will he'll bring him back to life, okay? Um, comment that below. And then also, let's do a shout out. Vlog shout out, vlog shout out, vlog shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got another channel. It's called Corey and Sean. Go check it out. You can see us do really cool, awesome things. Like uh, recently, we got invited to this really cool Red Bull event where we got to take a boat down the Chicago River and party with all these really fun people. And then it took us to this awesome event space where there was another party. They had free food and free booze. And it was just all around awesome. Go check out the vlog to see uh, more intimate details about how great that experience was. And um, yeah, shout out to Groundswell and Red Bull for putting that on and having us over. It was a blast. So much fun. I felt way, way cooler than I am. Uh -huh, me too, yeah. All right, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and rate what we each had here today from the little meatball out of five, I think I've done it in the past, but it just really makes sense. Out of five meat wads, how many meat wads do you give the, so you had the meatball sub for Italian eight. Italian meatball, because they got Greek oh, meatballs. And chicken. And chicken meatballs. Yes, okay. The $8 Italian. Italian meatball sub, Corey. Uh, I mean, obviously you guys know that was trash. Inedible, one of the dumbest items that I've had in a while. And that same much trash, I'm giving trash, I'm giving it a zero. Boom! On the flip side, I had something completely different. A food that really, I mean, its whole idea is to stay together, is to just trap all the ingredients so that can't happen. So I had a great experience. The Sean Ely 2021 food tour of just perfection continues. Uh, this thing was really good. Uh, sauce, amazing. Meatballs were good. I would have liked a little more of the meatballs in there. It kind of felt like I was searching for them for that half, so I didn't like love that. I want to taste more of those and see more of those. I'm telling you though, the goat cheese marinara mix, it's only $1.75 to add goat cheese to this. Even if you don't want to do meat, I say do that. Um, the outside crust, very flaky, well cooked, but kind of bland. I almost like, honestly, I hate to say it, but Papa's with the uh, crusting the cheese on the outside is just such an amazing move. I'd like to see a little maybe more herbs and maybe a butter brushing or something on the outside of this to kind of flavor up the outside, but still very good. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 4.0. I'm really impressed with this. Um, just a little bit of points off for those things, but overall, very good. I think the goat cheese should come on at standard. All right, guys, that's another food review. We'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode back at Corey's for a brewing review. We've been doing it for years. Fridays, cracking a cold one, having something from the frozen food aisle, rating it, and we'll see you then to round out this week of food reviews. So thanks for rocking with us. Go watch that vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow. The weekend's almost here. Thank God.